What's happening with the uh, Supreme Court and how their, uh, their latest effort to get Trump off? Uh, Donald Trump, two, two of the four charges that Donald Trump is, is facing in Tanya Chutkin's uh, courtroom, uh, the charges that are on hold right now while we wait for the Supreme Court on April 25th to hold oral arguments on whether Donald Trump had presidential immunity to try to overthrow the government. Uh, yesterday, there was another case before the Supreme Court, and uh, this had to do with the, the, uh, the, the people on January 6th. This is one of, the, one of the January 6th rioters, one of the January 6th traitors, was arrested and, and convicted. And he's appealing his convictions, saying that the law under which he was arrested and convicted, the law that makes it a crime to disrupt an official proceeding, is essentially too vague. It's too broad. And several members of the Supreme Court, clearly Clarence Thomas and apparently Neil Gorsuch, we, we, uh, it was a little harder to tell exactly what Kavanaugh was thinking. Um, uh, oh, and Sam Alito, the three of them, Gorsuch, Alito, and Thomas, are all clearly taking this position that uh, this law is too broad. Uh, you know, the way that they were saying, this is, uh, Gorsuch said, if I might, uh, so uh, what, what does that mean for the breadth of this statute? Would a sit-in that disrupts a trial or access to a federal courthouse qualify? Would a heckler in today's audience qualify or at the State of the Union address? Would pulling a fire alarm before a vote qualify for 20 years in prison? Oh, he's talking about Jamal Bowman there, who pulled the fire alarm in the, uh, uh, in the uh, Cannon House office building back in September of 2023. But, uh, you know, basically what he's saying is, uh, you know, hey, you can go to jail for 20 years for pulling a fire alarm, you know, for disrupting an official proceeding. And... Uh, Prelegar, uh, who was the uh, attorney, I, I don't have her first name, I'm sorry, it's, in, it's buried in this article someplace, um, but uh, attorney Prelegar said, uh, she pushed back on this line of questioning, arguing primarily that the government has to show several different elements in order to bring these charges. She said, to the extent that your hypotheticals are pressing on the idea of a peaceful protest, even one that's quite disruptive, it's not clear to me that the government would be able to show that each of those protesters had corrupt intent. That's one of the three uh, requirements. Alito then asked a series of questions following up on Gorsuch's concerns, including whether hypothetical protesters who disrupt Supreme Court proceedings by standing up and speaking out for or against people involved in storming the Capitol on January 6th, delaying the proceeding for five minutes, could be charged under this law and sent to jail for 20 years. Again, she responded by questioning whether that would meet the terms of the statute. Uh, I'm reading from a piece over at Law Dork by Chris Geidner. Uh, Chris writes, she explained that there would need to be evidence that any defendant, quote, knew about the proceedings that were happening in the joint session of Congress that day, specifically intended to prevent Congress from certifying the vote, and then could be shown to have knowledge or of wrongfulness or unlawful conduct something that could be pr proven by pointing to, a partic to particular preparations that an individual made. So, in other words, you have to have all three of those elements. There has to be knowledge that, there's an, a, that there is a, a specific event. Uh, it, there has to be knowledge, there has to be a specific intent to disrupt that event. And it has to be based on knowledge that that is illegal and you're going to do it anyway. Uh, she said, has the government applied this provision to uh, other protests? Excuse me, this is, this is Clarence Thomas. Clarence Thomas said, has the government applied this provision to other protests in the past? And has this been the government's position throughout the lifespan of this statute? Uh, he asked Prelegar. When she answered yes, Thomas followed up by asking if the DOJ had enforced it. And at that point, she replied this way. She said, I can't give you an example of enforcing it in a situation where people have violently stormed a building in order to prevent an official proceeding, a specified one, from occurring with all the elements like intention to obstruct, knowledge of the proceeding, having the corruptly, corruptly uh, mens rea, the state of mind. Um, but that's just because I'm not aware of that circumstance ever happening prior to January the 6th. 
Alito uh, asked also, you know, what, ha what, 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 what would be the deal if five people stood up and peacefully disrupted this proceeding of the Supreme Court? And again, she said, I think it's in a fundamentally different posture than if they had stormed into this courtroom, overrun the Supreme Court police, required the justices and other participants to flee for their safety, and done so with clear evidence of intent to disrupt. At which point uh, Alito kind of flinched. He said, uh, yes, indeed, absolutely. What happened on January 6th was very, very serious, and I'm not equating this with that. Well, in fact, he was. And so was Thomas, and so was Gorsuch. And if they rule that this law is too broad and therefore unconstitutional, then two of the four charges against Donald Trump get dropped, and probably the majority of the January 6th uh, traitors who have been arrested and are in or have been in jail uh, get released and, and have their records cleared. So keep an eye on this. The, this this uh, extraordinarily corrupt Supreme Court, uh, you know, bought and paid for by Leonard Leo and the Federalist Society and, and billionaires like Harlan, Harlan Crow. This, uh, this corrupt Supreme Court is going to do everything they can to help Donald Trump become president. There's no doubt in my mind. I mean, they, they, they already have given him a, uh, it's probably at least a six-month delay in his federal, federal uh, corruption trial, his federal trial for trying to overthrow the government. 